Sorry. <laughs> Wrong time now, Knights. What's up, my peoples? Emgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the AOE Mech, aka Black Mamba, upscaled to knockoff Scorn. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. We need to move him out of the way because he is a very big bot, and he comes in a very big box, as you can see. So right up front here, we have some lovely artwork of a Scorn, Ancient Monsters, Movie Series, Alloy Plate, blah de blah blah On this side of the box, we have Deformation. On the other side of the box, we got Scorn in his robot mode, in his dino mode, up top, Movie Series, blah de blah de On the bottom, things and stuff that I can't read. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, robot mode, dino mode, Ancient Monsters, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have a Scorn from AOE Mech, aka Black Mamba, and this is an upscaled knockoff of the Voyager Scorn from The Last Night. And here he is in his uh, dino mode, and he looks quite, quite nice. Let's get in close here so we can take a look at that beautiful, beautiful mug of his. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful face. That's a face only a mother could hate. But you can see, nicely... Done. Love the coloration on it. Definitely a much more uh, screen accurate uh, color scheme going on here. You can see the eyes in there are painted a nice bright blue. You get a little bit of gold in there. You also get some little brushed metal details here and there. And the overall finish on this is a really nice kind of brushed metal finish. Looks really, really good. Big old claws. All around, nicely detailed. He's got the, uh, the three rows of spikes going on. They are made of a soft plastic. You can see his big old legs, his big old feet, and moving down, his big old tail. But all the very, very nice looking. Looks really, really good, in my opinion, anyway. Now, articulation wise, uh, the head can move up and down at this hinge here. The head can move from side to side. It can also rotate. The mouth can open and close and be like Bleh! You can see they painted his tongue a nice silver. Uh, his little arms are on ball joints. They can move in and out. They can rotate. His hands are on a hinge that can move downward like so. As far as the legs go, Got a nice beefy ratchet, and they can rotate. They can move in and out some. You got rotation right above the knee. You got, yeah, a nice ratchet and knee joint there. And his toes are individually hinged here. So you got some toe posability, and you also get a hinge there at the claw, at that little back claw, little heel piece. As far as the tail goes, you can rotate, you can move up at this hinge here, you also have a hinge here, and a hinge right there. And for comparison, uh, here he is with the uh, Voyager Last Night Prime, as you can see how that works out there. Here he is with the Unique Toys Prime. Here he is with the original Voyager Scorn. So you can see just how much they upscaled this figure. It looks like looks like a little baby. What is Papa? No. But there you go. And lastly, but not leastly, here he is with the Black Mamba Grimlock. So you can see how those two look together. They look quite nice together. So there you go. So that is basically it for the Dino Mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? I'm not gonna spin him, not even, not even gonna try. No, that's just, no, just, just no, just no. So <laughs> let's get down to transformation. So first thing we're gonna do, what's the first thing we're gonna do? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these panels here. These panels here are new on this figure. This is something they did add. So you wanna take the spikes here on the sides and just kind of fold these in. These 
panels here will untab from the side, just come up, and then they'll tab in right up in here, like so. And we'll do that on either side. Just bring those in, untab that, bring that up, tab it into that side right there. Whoops, that's probably going to happen a lot because he's a big boy. He, he's just a big boy. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come down here. We're going to undo the legs from the sides of the tail. I'm going to bump the camera so much. Ah, there we go. Undo that. Come down here. Untab this arm from the bottom of his belly. Just bring that out. Get that out of the way. And we can kind of start to get things going here. Now, one more thing we have to do is take this whole assembly here and bring those out to the side. And that frees up this whole top section here. And all that will just come up like so. Then we can just untab the tail section, bring that down, untab this section, bring that down. And now everything's everything's gonna be kind of floppy now. It's gonna get kind of floppastic here, but hey, we'll, we'll, we'll get through, we'll get through, we'll get through, so. Just bring, bring the legs down here. And you wanna take this section here and just rotate it around like so. And then we can, oh, you want to leave these sections out so we can bring this back. Go on, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. There we go. So you can bring that back, rotate his head up, and then we take the dino head and this will just fold into the body like so. And then we can just bring all this down like that. And then right back here, we take these sections. If we have everything situated properly, there we go. We can take these panels here and they will tab into either side to hold that in place like so. You can do whatever you want with these spikes here. Just I like to just bring them up to the side, get them out of the way. Once we've done that, ah, Okay, <laughs> we're going to just take his crotch. Well, first thing we can do is get these out of the way, take these pieces and bring them down, bring them down. And we can take the halves of his crotch and bring them together. Come on, there we go. That just plugs together like so. And we're getting there. We are getting there. We do have to work. Actually, we'll, you know, we'll save the feet for last. But first, we're going to come up here and work on his arms. So you want to take his shoulder here, and this is going to shift over like so. And you can see how all this works, and it will kind of thoop into place. You want to make sure that's thooped right there, otherwise this will not... Uh, sit perfectly vertical. If this does not sit perfectly vertical, things will not line up properly and you will just have a bad, bad time. So I'm not going to clip this in just yet. I'm actually going to do, whoa! I'm going to do the other side first. So again, you just want to take the shoulder and just rotate that around until it thoops. And then we can take shoulders here and they will clip in to either side. Hopefully, they will work. Come on, come on. Takes a bit of doing. Does take a bit of doing. And there we go. I think it went. There we go. And snap, 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 crackle, pop. Come on. There we go. And now we got the shoulders in place. And now we can. Rotate that around, bring the arm down, little dino hands, I like to just bring up like that, you know, that's what I like to do. It's always your toy, display it however you wish. And the last thing we're going to do here is transform his, his big old feet here. So you just take the heel and you just bring it up so you have clearance and you take this and you just rotate this whole assembly around like so. Once you get here, you can bring this back up, and these claws now can kind of fold up against the back of his leg, so things look a little bit more tidy. Second fuss! Just like the first! I'm tired. I'm tired already. Okay. 
Let's bring this up, rotate this around. He's big, he's hefty. Bring that around. Bring those up against the legs. And there you got his feet. All done, and I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Woo, we're done. And there you have a Scorn in his robot mode. And he's big, he's beefy, he's hefty, he is not at all fun to transform at arm's length with a camera under your chin, but hey, once it's all said and done, he looks amazing. So it makes the shoulder strain worth it, but let's get in close here so we can take a look at that head sculpt. That's as high up as my camera can go right now. There you go. You can see, nicely done head sculpt. Yeah, top of his head, has some nice details. And again, the paintwork, the coloration on this figure is great. Love that brushed metal finish. Looks really, really good. I believe his chest, this chest piece, is all die cast. Um, he does have die cast in him. Like, all I can tell right now is that the chest is die cast. I'm not sure if there's die cast anywhere else on him. I'm not sure, but definitely the chest has die cast in it. But yeah, overall, though, looks great. Looks great. Love the coloration here and just looks really good there's big old feet and move back it's got a spiky backpack again you can do whatever you want with those spikes there I just like to flatten them out just for the sake of uh, sake of space but oh no he looks quite quite good now, articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint. You get your wiggly waggly, wiggly waggly. You can look up a little bit, look down a little bit. Head can do a full 360, although it's kind of a little section here, kind of gets in the way. But hey, the head rotates as much really as it needs to. The arms can do a full 360 on a nice ratcheted joint. Can move inward and outward as well. You do have bicep rotation here and you still have use of all those joints there in the tail so you have under 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow proper and then you have those two joints right there if you need them as far as the other arm goes you do have that same rotation same outward movement bicep rotation elbow joints you do get over 90 degrees of bend there at that elbow so you get a nice range of movements you do have rotation at the wrist. He does have posable fingers. Uh, the thumb is just on a hinge at the base. So I can move forward and back. And each finger is on a hinge as well. So he's got some nice posable fingers there to work with. Um, nothing at the waist, just due to how he transforms. As far as the legs go, the legs can move forward that far. He can do them high kicks. Back, only about that far. Outward, you're only going to get about that far. You got a rotation right above the knee. If you move the uh, claws out of the way, you have 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. And the feet, they can move up, they can move down. And you have a little bit of ankle tiltage. And Scorn here does have a light up feature. Now I don't know what kind of batteries it takes because the batteries were already installed and I didn't want to take his head apart. Uh, but you know, you won't have to worry about it until it's time to change the batteries, but uh, it's just three screws you undo there. Take the head apart and get access to the batteries. Again, I didn't take his head apart because the batteries were already in there. So hey, you don't have to worry about it until it's time to change them. But um, you can see the switch is right back there. And when you push it, if I can find it, there you go. You can see his eyes glow a nice bright blue, and that looks quite, quite cool. So there you have that, and now for comparison, here he is with the Voyager last night Prime. Here he is with the Unique Toys Prime. With the Studio Series Leader Grimlock, just because. Here he is with the original Voyager Scorn, so you can see just how much they upscaled this guy. 
And last but not least, here he is with the Black Mamba Grimlock. And they look quite, quite nice together. So, now you go. So there you have a Scorn. And as usual, it's a knockoff, but it's a nicely done knockoff. Quality-wise, everything feels really good on this figure. Everything feels solid. Everything feels sturdy. The only slight issue I have is that his ankles are a little bit loose. But other than that, he is a solid figure. Love the coloration. It looks great in both modes. Looks great with the Black Mamba Grimlock. So yeah, overall, I am quite pleased with it. And um, I hope they do the rest of the Dinobots. I really hope they do the rest of them. I want them all on this scale. It would definitely make for an awesome looking display as far as I'm concerned, so... There you go. Now I pick this up from Sir Toys. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. For all your other Transformers needs, you can always check out BigBadToysStore.com, also linked in the description down below. You can also check out my Knockoff Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the AOE Mech, aka Black Mamba, upscaled and knock off scorn. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Boom in your face. No, seriously, I think I perfected the pizza bagel recipe. It just depends on... Uh, Prime? What the... Does not again! Why does this keep happening? No! No, put him down! No, look, I know he looks like a snack, but he's not! He's our friend! He is our friend! You put him down! You put him down, and they always run away too! Stop it! Come back! No! No!